and welcome. This is Terrorhawk, and we're on a Capcom Fat Shark game. It's a very dramatic introduction with music. Brings us on another, on the second of this month's free games for PS3 users. Ionic Commando Rearmed 2. Um, so, another older game. So, this is five years previously. Sequel to the reboot of the original game. I just need to do the usual jumping into the settings first. Can we please turn this all down? Right, that's that's a bit better, isn't it? These things are always set very loud. No, I've noticed it now. Of course, stuff. Um, I have to say, I seem to remember. So let's look at controls. So. Bionic Commander, for those who don't know, is a, well, in this instance, it's a 2D platform shooter. Uh, it's twist is that your character, well, your twist was your character couldn't jump, and he had to use a bionic arm to move around. And I'm seeing the control says he can jump in this version. So that's an interesting new development. Uh, he's basically, he is a commando. He's trying to infiltrate an enemy landscape. And he use, has a bionic car. There was a 3D version, uh, which didn't do very well. There was a reboot of the original 8-bit classic. This dates back to the NES days, I believe. I certainly had it on the Game Boy way back when. And on the NES and the Game Boy, this game worked. I had biovision. That promises to be interesting. And arm upgrades. All right. Let's turn up to play so you can see what I'm doing there. There, see, there is a lot of what? Move left to move left and right. Down to crouch. Circle thing extends. Connect to initiate the swing. Climb up and down. You can jump. Fire weapons. Extend your arm towards the bullets. You can block the enemy fire. When you're there, press X and down to perform a death from above. Didn't know that one. That's another new one he's added in. Um, but the, I have to, yes, so going back, so on 8-bit, on Game Boy, and on, I believe it was NES, the game worked very well. On PS3, the reboot version, with upgraded graphics, but still not getting out, didn't work as well. I did, I do own that game, I found it was a challenge to get the timing right, because obviously you need your arm to swing, do that way around. Um... In that first game, you weren't able to jump, and it really did prove to be tricky to get the timing just right. I don't know why. Uh, so you've got mechanical levers. There are pings, pick up inventory, pickups. Pressing down and circle in there, extend your arm horizontally. We're doing a short swing. Yes, you had that. That was something that was there before. Was you could use your swing to go to different places. Use one while crouching. You can slide. Barrels can pick up and throw. Which is a mechanic brought in the reboot. You can wall slide. I can't remember if that was it or not. You enter a sniper mount. Is to activate an armor upgrade. Push up to open doorways. Okay, and there's a bit of Metroidvania style gameplay. Hello. Alright, and there's ranking boards, there's challenge rooms. Do all this on the tin and play games. Let's have a look in. Let's have a look at the first level. Let's see what the introduction movies. A few years have passed since Rad Spencer, the first black soldier, helped save the world from Imperials. Overnight, by our technology revolutionized. We use bionics in armed conflicts around the world. Here is the ultimate force multiplier, a flawless weapon. At least that's what we told the public. Sure, there were kinks, but we are the mouth as we went along. Things looking good for bionics. Don't know who it is in this game. But all good things must come to an end. It started with the threat of missile attack, Papagoya. Country not far from the coast of the FSA. The leader of Papagoya, General Subio, 
Savio was a brilliant engineer for what of his own design. Savio had his feet cut off in the Ukraine and the FSA sent an Italian by Colonel Borobruka and is going too fast for me to keep up. I presume that I have time to read this through to you all. That my body program, the mean of the mess, as usual, I jumped at the chance to prove superiority for addicts. Is it a team of five? I just had very good experiences. I thought it would be a walk in the park, I see. I was wrong. Yeah, so we were Rad Spencer in the first game. Oh, there we go. Got a pair of bionic legs here. Guys, turn this just a little bit more seriously. Actually, I won't rather impress. I won't with these characters. Akamara's first mission. Don't tell us what to do. Alright, Prince Island. Locate to Colonel Brubrook and men. <coughs> Fight your way to them, then alongside them. Sam, Sabu, the mission. Oh, second, well, it's the second trip to the Not your second trip to Captain goes last. Wilcox and Housie go first. Yeah. I presume that's who it is. Agnum Rara. Everybody's done. Check out that moustache. I. And I'm sure politics are a thing. Yeah, you know, rule 32 through 34 applies in this case. So, as always, they do this wonderful, actually quite nice little map idea where you have to fight for all these little noodle blocks. Alright, so you can see all the secrets you need to get. There's your time. If there's an option co op play, which is quite nice. Um, I won't be going for a speed run through on this one, I shall say now, so if you're looking for a speed run on this game, you need to head elsewhere. Right, let's see how many of these people we can kill off in the first five minutes. Use your fire vision to scan our intel stations. I don't particularly like these automatic. A scan for important information. The issue I have with this game is on the old 8 bit versions, it used to be quite relaxed about letting you get into the. As long as your claw was near to a platform, you could grab it. I'm hiding. You can never see me. What is all this? Oh, you have to hold X for staying. 
push up 20 doors. That's only really a different mission part. So it's up to you whether you went into it to have a look to see what was there. Which will give you more missions. Sometimes you'd find objects in there, sometimes there'd be missions. Sometimes you'd find locked doors. I can't do it to get past this one there, I don't believe. Well, I can. I can climb a ladder using my claw. Okay. Activate switch when we're shooting them. Everyone deserves a second chance. I think they bear. There you go. Shooty, shooty. Slowest bullet in the world. Okay. Did I do that? That doesn't look good, does it? Apparently there's nothing to scan over there though. So we're going to worry about firing a weapon now. Okay, so I can climb things to Fine. Oops. Ah, yes. Red barrels. Entirely possible. Block enemy fire by extending your arm towards the bullet. How do I. I want to try to remember actually how I. Doing something silly, just need to check quickly how I how I do my arm straight.
throwing mechanic. Both both are still there. A bit tricky game. It just the controls just do not seem to be falling. struggling because the bloke is up there. Come on, walk back towards me. Come on. Kill me off, but I can't get up there to kill him. Barrels all seem to be random as to which ones all they're doing. Alright. So in the inventory. Oh, life on ground hit. Pass up there is no interaction. Activate crater by pressing X. So weapon collection. I have the revolver. And nothing else. No passive upgrades. Active upgrade. This is going to be a shoulder launched grenade fire. Cool. We'll have that. Why not? Right. Do we think that's going to be limited in that way? I'm here, despite the fact I'm shooting it. Alright, what's this down here? 
here. That is general purpose switch. Sewer entrance. So much fire by the way. Alright, I see. I can use the light and just take the time to reach out. So here we go, you can see this this is by the Commander Realm 2. Uh, the pistol game is fairly easy, I'd say. Never a good sign you see in on the first this time not to go for a swing all over the place. Hello. And it's deliver electrical damage. Alright. Kablamo! Let's stop the nice big boat into the water so I don't die. Hole there. Swingy. Yeah, 
first time. And there we go. Now it's time to do this. Grenade out! Locked me. Oiled. And there's always these little things around the place. I'm not sure if I can double that up. I probably should. Oh, yeah, I can. I'm not sure I want to, though. Uh, did that. That was just. So, there we go. This was I'm quite a bit longer into this than I was expecting to play. Uh, I'm not going to carry on playing. I have to say, actually, it does seem a little bit more together than the first one was. I seem to recall it had fairly bad reviews. Uh, it seems to be holding itself together so far. But then, of course, we are part way through the first level, and it looks like there's a lot more levels in this. To do. Um, nevertheless, if you are on PlayStation, this game is available for free for the rest of May. Uh, should you get this video before that. Otherwise, yeah, maybe I'll swing back around at some point. In any case, thank you all very much for watching, and we shall see you next time. Bye for now.